Welcome, everyone. We are all set here at Las Vegas, Nevada, ACO Major. Joel Karnick here, joined by the main man himself, Frank Gears. Hey, Joel, I'm not going to do anything but sit here and listen <laughs> to you broadcast here, dude. Uh, you're awesome. This is going to be a fun matchup, though. This is a yeah. we had we had uh, so many people played in this event today that we have uh, two different divisions coming together to battle for the ultimate title here in Vegas, right? Yeah, we got the AMB champions. We got Blake Karnick and uh, Nick Renovitz against uh, Douglas Parker and Brock Beasley. They're playing for the boards. We love the boards as a trophy. And this is a championship match. They're finishing up there down and back. And what a great venue here at Westgate in Las Vegas, Nevada. Watch stadium app, 7 o'clock tonight, uh, Pacific time, right? Everything's going to kick off. Pacific time is correct. So they, these guys are just doing a little down and back. I think they're going to start down at this end with Blake and uh, Brock down here. So one more time down, and we should be ready to rock and roll. Yeah. This is brought to you by Hampton Farms. Have you tried some of their peanuts before? Yes, I have. They're absolutely yeah. delicious. I um, yeah. took a break for lunch and uh, kicked back <laughs> a nice cold one and a couple peanuts for that. Fantastic. So we have, like, uh, five different championship matches coming up at 7 o'clock, right? Yeah, we do. We've got uh, the um, seniors division. We've got three that are battling for the title here, Bob Heil and uh, Paul Schrader. We'll do uh, a little bit of head-to-head -head competition to see who gets the chance to battle Johnny Thomas. And then we go into the juniors division where we've got Lane Cruz and Riley Brewster. Lane Cruz and Riley Brewster battling for our junior title out here. And then the, in the evening, we, we go into the women's division where we've got three women uh, battling out for the title. We've got uh, Wendy Chacon, uh, Jordan McDaniel. Um, the winner of that match will go on to play Stacy Van Gilder. So we got a lot of good good games coming up for Stadium yeah. here later this evening. And we're off and running here. Blake and Brock will get things going down here. Both a very similar style throwing, low throwers. Uh, Brock has I think, some carpet bags there, but Blake, I think, has the uh, Typhoons, I think he's throwing there. But both, uh, you know, low, th hard throwers can uh, maybe throw a little roll shot. Um, uh, Brock definitely. Blake a little more hesitant there. We see attempt at a roll shot by Brock uh, on that one right there. And Blake's going to try, I think, go over the top here with a little air mail. He goes off to the right. And that's going to set up a early score for Brock Beasley and um, Douglas Parker. And Blake Karnick and Nick Renovitz, they both won their pools. And they're playing for those fancy boards. The fancy boards, baby. Oh, the fancy wonderful. Hampton Farm boards. Yeah, I got some of the quad ones from earlier in the year. I got it promptly Not displayed. It? My wife moves it once in a while, and I move it back. <laughs> Only when you have guests coming over, she makes you take it down. Yeah. Huh? She's like, that's where it's going to be. I said, dang right, that's where it's going to be. <laughs> hey, it's not easy to get that uh, piece of wood in it's your house like that. It's not in any division. It's a it's a nice little trophy for sure. They're beautiful. They are very nice. Uh, what I haven't seen, Joel, is you take a picture of yourself sleeping with that trophy. We've got a lot of that seems to be a thing these days. If you yeah. win one of those uh, trophies from the ACO, you got to be sleeping with that trophy. Yeah, there's a 10-10 wash. We kind of saw that that one might be uh, destined for a wash there. So we got a two nothing lead for uh, Nick, uh, for uh, uh, Nick and Blake actually. Blake got two points off that first round. Puts the first one right in front. Yeah. Is this right now? Blake is your son? Do am I understanding that correctly he is. now? He is my son. Yeah, I'll admit, I'll are you admit playing that doubles? Right are you doubles partners we'll, tomorrow? Yeah, we'll do quads tonight and doubles tomorrow. Oh, fun! Yeah, so we we throw together. That's nice. He's nice enough to put up with me and some of my inadequacies. There's a little <laughs> cut shot by Brock. Nice to get around Blake's bags up in front. Blake pushes through, but Brock's going to get two here if he can just go in, and he does to tie it at two two now. Um, Makes it look easy. Yeah, Brock, you know, he, he's a young guy. I'm not sure how old he is, um, but I would guess he's under 20 if I was a guessing man. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely under 20. I will, uh, I'll will double your money on that and say, yes, you are correct. We're in Vegas. We can bet on that, right? Yeah, you bet. Look how easy these guys make it to go in the hole. How's your game these days? Well, we did pretty. I had a good day yesterday. We uh, took second in the little quad we had yesterday and, and uh, in the blind draw. I think we took first, so I... Yeah, it was a good day. It threw, threw pretty good yesterday, throwing some different bags. All four of these throwers here are very good pro-level uh, throwers here. I've been watching all of them play, including Brock. Played against him a little bit oh, yesterday. Nice drag. What a dart. Nice drag by Nick there on that one. And that one's going to push 
bag to the side a little bit here. Let's see if Nick can grab this one. Probably not. That's pretty far off. Yeah, he's off oh, to the left, and he does. We tried. Time. Yeah. So it's going to give a three. three spot, I believe, there for Doug and Douglas and Brock. Is this your first time out to Vegas to play cornhole, Joel? To play cornhole. I've been here other times, but playing cornhole, yeah, it's the first time. I know we had the Worlds here. Uh, Worlds 14, was it? Or, uh, yeah, was we had that Worlds. We were out at uh, Top Golf, yeah. which was an uh, amazing place. So we ran it here at the Westgate and then ended up having our championship matches over at Top Golf. And I tell you, that was probably one of my favorite world championships just the whole setting was unbelievable i mean the world championships is a special event you know right bar none all of them last year we were in bradenton uh, florida this year we're headed out to branson missouri a great great city but uh, yeah. the world championships at top golf uh, in vegas here was killer yeah there's a four spot by brock as blake missed that last bag wide to the right he's been watching his dad play too much nine to two Doug and Brock ahead of Nick and Blake here. Championship game, one game of the blind draw. We had uh, we had what a hundred and hundred. What was the final it's number? Closing in on two hundred players. Two hundred yeah, players. Yeah, so we had to yeah. break it into two different divisions, yeah. and I think there was like 50, 50 plus teams per division. And uh, what you're seeing right now is the Group A champion battling the Group B champion of those two uh, two groups. Yeah. You know, both of them won first place money for their grouping, but now they're battling for the actual title than the trophy. So this is all about the uh, the hardware, right? Yeah, double four bagger there, and we're still at nine to two. Doug and Brock leading Nick and Blake. Yeah, it's a long way through. It's it's long enough. Uh, even when you split them, I mean, my partner and I went three and zero, oh, and then. I think we ended up four and two, and we weren't even close to smelling the top. You got to win a lot of games in a row with that many teams. It's a lot. It's uh, even to, to win a blind draw is is takes so much. Wow, Broccoli's one short. That, that you don't see that by caliber yeah. players like this leaving them short. But that happens to you, right? The best of you. I mean, once, once in a while, yeah, I get a little hitch in the delivery or something, and it prevents it from getting there. But especially low throwers like Brock, you know, he's not clearing the front of that board by more than probably seven or eight inches. So you're a little bit short, and, uh, you know, you're going to leave one off there. And Blake's going to grab, I believe, three on that one on a four-bagger. So it makes Brock pay for that one short on the board. There's nothing better as a player than seeing your opponent leave one off the board and taking advantage of it. A lot of, so many times that happens, and then your next bag flies right off the I board, I was just going to say that to you. I mean, <laughs> so often you follow suit with whatever your uh – opponent does man yeah and i don't know why that is you just maybe lose a little focus yourself i don't know you see guys reset a lot it, somebody will throw one off the board and then they re just slow down and say okay just make sure you don't do that <laughs> so nine five here in favor of uh douglas brock that one bounces off the side on attempted air mill by nick douglas is going to take them all in and he's going to get i believe two on that i believe so 11 to 5 now douglas parker brock beasley leading nick renovitz and blake karnick we got players here from i heard 24 states was it more than that now 24 25 wow. states yeah it's i mean really isn't that cool. crazy you know we were in uh, nebraska carney nebraska and believe it or not we had 19 states <laughs> represented awesome. in carney People from California, Florida, and Alaska came out to Kearney. And now we're here in Vegas, and we got 25 states represented. This is, you know, the Cornhole itself is just, you know, blown up, right, all across the country. And yes. now really going across the world. I mean, there's all these international players that are really starting to get in the game. And Yeah. Nice shot by Brock when, when did you take up the game yourself? We, we start, My son and I started to get serious about two years ago. I think we started about four years ago, but the last two years – We've been getting serious about it. And that one's going to be a wash and still 11-5. 11, 11, yeah, I, I, we played yesterday, and it was fun here to have so many people here the day before the event yesterday for the quad, a little quad and blind draw. And uh, I played with players from Alaska, New Jersey, Florida. I mean, j just in those, it was awesome. No, it's, uh, it is crazy for sure. All right, so that one left out right in front. We're, we're in for a tight game down the stretch, even though it's an 11-5 game right now. I think we're, we're going to see this one come right down to the, right down to the end. As if either team cracks a little bit and sails one and leaves one short, it gets a five spot sitting there real quick for either team. 
So it sounds like you're putting your money on your uh, your son and Nick, huh, to come back and win this thing, huh? Well, they've been throwing so good today. I know Doug and Brock are too. I've been watching some of their games. That's going to remain at 11 to five or 13 five and a 2.14. Doug, Douglas, and Brock. That one, a little blocker in front. We'll see how Blake deals with this. If he's going to go over the top, I would guess he's going to slide through it probably, and he does. Just kind of covers it up a little bit. You know, these teams are kind of interesting how they are matched up. They both have uh, a young gun on it, and then they yeah. both have um, a middle-aged guy, um, 35, 40-year-old uh, fellows, I think, out there pitching. Blake's going to throw airmail, and he nails that one. Blake was working on his cut shot and roll shot quite a bit, but he doesn't really feel comfortable with it enough to throw it in tight games like this. He's still an airmail, traditional slide and airmail guy. You'll see Brock. He'll roll this one now. He's going to try to roll right over the top of this thing. There it is. Well, he's actually it was a push more than a roll on that, but right. he came in really hot. So Blake's going to probably air this one again and try to make Brock make that shot again. Well, Blake, Blake's actually going to push. Nice shot, though. Brock's going to have to take some of Blake's bags with him if he does go in. He comes low and oh, hard and leaves it short. Just like you were talking, man. Some of these low, yeah. low shots just fall short of the board. Blake's just going to push through this and see if he can't get all three to go in with a good hard push shot. Oh, he sailed it off to the right. Went slick side and knew he didn't have to throw it real hard on that slick side, but sometimes when you let up a little bit, that left and right gets a little bit a little bit funky on you. So Pushed it right. Yeah, had a golden opportunity there to get a big number on Brock. Still got three. It's 13-8 now. Douglas and Douglas Parker and Brock Beasley leading. Blake Karnick and Nick Renovitz. Championship game, blind draw here in Las Vegas. The yeah, big would, blind draw. I would say Douglas and uh, Brock definitely dodged a bullet at that last oh, round. Oh, yeah, no doubt. That could have been a seven spot real easy. But the three was still big for Blake and Nick. Here's where a nice airmail comes into play. And he can throw them. Nick has thrown a real nice airmail all day. That one knocked a lot of them in and fell off the side. Should be a pretty easy push here for Parker. Just right up the middle. Should take both these bags in. And he does. And he, and he does. Big shot. So Nick and Blake find themselves down now 16 to 8 here in the championship game. Looking forward to a big day tomorrow. The Watch Stadium app will have championship games on tonight and again tomorrow. Tomorrow evening, yeah, yeah tomorrow 7 o'clock. Yeah. We're excited. Uh, season 18, which is around the corner. I can't believe it. We still have to get through this year and the World Championships in Branson. But, Joel, there is a lot of big stuff, big news coming out in the next couple months awesome. uh, with the ACO. Awesome. Continue to grow our uh, certified official base. Our members uh, are up. You know, we're almost got uh, double membership this year. Uh, one off the back. Opportunity for Blake here. Yeah, it continues to grow. I know we added one up in our area, in northern Wisconsin. That was nice. Headed There's... up to Grand Traverse, Michigan, not too long. Yeah. Dodge City, Kansas. So a three spot for Blake. Brock made one mistake, sailed one off the back, and Blake made him pay there. So a five-point lead now for... Doug and Brock over Blake and Nick. First bag in. Second one right out in front there. I think some players, Frank, adjusting a little bit here. I mean, it's 90 degrees here today outside, and you can't help but have some of that heat come indoors a little bit. The boards, I think, are a little bit stickier than what some people are used to in that dry winter feel. And that's an adjustment players have to make. And well, they got... 20 different sets of bags they bring so you know they can uh, adjust can but find it. yeah they do they do adjust quite a bit speaking of bags we got a nice bag manufacturer here this weekend uh, majestics is here in-house um, promoting and uh, pushing their wares all clumped up blake calls for an airmail here i think he should just push through this yeah or uh, brock did anyway so he's just going to push through to see if it doesn't if it clumps or goes Oh, how did that Ended bag up not with drop? And Nick getting two. I mean, most bags these days are made like yeah. butter, it seems like. And if you that, I'm very surprised that that bag held up right there. Yeah, a lot of times if the bag doesn't come in real flat, if it comes in a little side, it was a five spot actually, they come in a little sideways, it'll just kick just that little bit. And I think that happened on that one. All knotted up, 16 16. You said this was going to be a close one, Joel. Yeah, this is a fun for the championship, going for the boards. Brock pushes in, leaves that to the right, but I would guess that's probably with enough bags left, it's probably going to come in. Blake 
Left one shorter than he wants to. But now Brock, that's where Brock would land normally. I was going to say that's a little tricky shot for Ooh. Brock because that's uh, playing in his uh, play zone right down there. This is the airmail. Now Blake has a decision here on what he's going to do. He might just try to go in between those two. He does and takes Brock's in. So Blake's set up to get one here possibly, uh, maybe more. Could get three if he can get to ten. Because uh, Brock is set up to get a max of seven. If Blake can go in, he'd be at ten, and he does. So Brock's got to get, he's got to get at least on the board here. If he throws this one off, that's a six spot, and that would be the ball game. If he puts it on, well, he needs to be in here. I think he needs to be in. Brock over the top. Oh, and there you go. What a comeback! It. Yeah, Blake Karnick, Nick Renovitz. Taken down Douglas Parker and Brock Beasley. And like we said, both had a really a lot of difficult games to get to this point. So congrats to both of them. And Blake's going to have a little plaque to put in his UW River there Falls dorm he can, room. He can match dad now. He's got his <laughs> own uh, trophy to hang up. Yeah. Thanks so. for letting me jump on here, Frank. The, the big hitter. We're just I'm just a warm up back for Finn. Finn will be coming on here at seven o'clock and bringing bringing you all of the uh, seven o'clock. Uh, Pacific time. Yep. Yeah, see, back home where we are, that's like 9 o'clock. People got their jammies on. It's like 10 o'clock. They'll snuggle in. Yeah. <laughs> For you East Coasters, yeah, we're central. Oh, that's right. You're central time, Joel. I forgot about yeah. that. So congratulations to uh, Nick and Blake taking down Doug and Brock, champions of the Las Vegas ACO Major Big Blind Draw. Yep, brought to you by Hampton Farms. So once again, thanks for Hampton Farms. Stay tuned for this stadium. We're also going to do the Big Blind Blindfold Challenge at 8 o'clock oh, wow. on stadium. Yeah. So thanks again for tuning in. My name's Frank Gears, the Cornhole Dude, and to my left, I got Joel Karnick. Joel, I appreciate you helping carry the load here, brother. You're very welcome.